Happy Monday, Josh Johnson here. Let's talk weather, my favorite topic. Next seven days, I uh, will again just point out, as we have with a lot of these videos lately, uh, it's going to be a wild seven to ten days from a forecast perspective. Computer models are struggling greatly with a very complex, changeable pattern. So it's important that you check back for new updates. This is being recorded on February 8th. Uh, the forecast for one week from today, by the time you get to February 13th, will have changed considerably, most likely. So uh, with no further ado, we'll dive into the maps, but just wanted to begin with that disclaimer because of this changeable weather pattern. So this is the European computer model. Uh, it, a warm and unsettled go of it through Thursday. So here's how this plays out. Uh, we begin today, not a lot going on. Some scattered rain moves into South Alabama, especially tonight into tomorrow early. A lot of Tuesdays dry, not the entire day, just some scattered pockets of rain around at times. Then we're into Tuesday night. This is Wednesday morning. Alabama looks fairly dry. You've got some nuisance rain that gets going on into Wednesday late morning into the midday time frame. And then from there, just kind of scattered leftover rain sticking around Wednesday night and into Thursday. So by sunrise Thursday, you've got a big sprawling area of Arctic high pressure in southwestern Canada, cold air rushing into the United States. And you've got an ice storm underway. Places like Oklahoma City, Little Rock, uh, Jackson, Tennessee, Louisville, Kentucky, on over towards parts of uh, Virginia and Washington, D.C. We're on the southern end of this, so we stay warm. I think the highs around here Wednesday, Thursday are in the 60s, maybe even 70s, uh, with waves of rain. We'll watch for any severe weather. The pattern doesn't scream that. Um, I'll go back here. This would be Thursday afternoon. We'll check the forecast soundings, as we like to do, just to be safe. You do have some directional wind shear, but overall wind fields aloft are exceptionally weak, uh, and there's not much instability with which to work either. So you don't see a lot there that jumps off the chart. You've got a um, winter storm unfolding up across parts of the, uh, Virginia, West Virginia, Pennsylvania. Uh, that eventually drags the Arctic front through here, and we will cool down. Before that happens, though, another little wave forms and some more rain is possible Saturday. Now, that Saturday rain, Saturday morning, you'll notice temperatures way above freezing in the mid-40s as per the European guidance. So you don't really worry as much about any wintry weather if the European model proves correct. That fades away. Then look at this. By Sunday morning, you've got a 1052 Arctic high pressure centered over south central Nebraska this would be some really cold air in here. So this would be a big change to colder weather happening Saturday night into Sunday. Uh, then you start to get a little surface low going down here in the Gulf by Sunday night and into Monday. Now different models are doing different things with this. That's the tricky part. So there's, there's nothing specific that screams snow or ice in this pattern. Um, there, when you have an Arctic air mass that gets this cold, of course, you do wonder about that. And some of the longer range stuff out past seven days hints at that, but I'm, I skipped past it without even referencing it just simply because that long range stuff has done so badly in this pattern. So not even really going to dive into it. Here's the GFS. This is the long range uh, American computer model. Shows similar situation through Friday or so. Wednesday morning, you get some rain. Looks like a pretty big ice storm for parts of uh, northern Arkansas through the Ohio Valley. We're on the warm side of that, so we're in the 60s and 70s with rain around Thursday and Thursday night. One thing we'll have to watch, the exact position of the Arctic cold front. Uh, there's some guidance that suggests the northwest corner of Alabama could get clipped with some freezing rain Thursday. That would not involve any of the WSFA coverage area. Then the, the GFS brings the Arctic front on through and runs another wave of low pressure down here in the Gulf by Saturday. And this would be suggestive of rain for most of South Alabama and then a fairly substantial ice setup, perhaps, uh, for parts of West, Northwest, and North Alabama. Um, will this verify? No one knows. Uh, this is all out in the science fiction range. The key takeaway here, really, is the change to colder weather. That part I'm confident in. Any snow or ice threat right now is still too uncertain to even really mention. So we are warm through Thursday. Then the front presses through. We turn gradually colder Friday, Saturday, kind of close to normal. And then we are sharply colder Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Highs of the 40s, lows, upper 20s, low 30s kind of stuff uh, out towards the end of the weekend and into early next week. For reference, the red line you see here, 
that is normal and you'll notice we're fairly well below that most of uh, by the end of the weekend and most of next week uh, the exact numbers are going to change and notice too that we like this ensemble approach what that is the green is the average of around 50 ensembles um, and then this is sort of the gray box that you see here that's the sort of the middle middle chunk of those possible solutions and then they go as high and as low as the as the blue bar so that gives you some idea notice the very wide spread here in the blue bars that means the computer model for Sunday its ensembles are telling you anywhere from 28 degrees to 63 degrees for an overnight low now the truth is always in between but um, just understand that there's a lot of variability in the extended forecast here. A lot of chatter about snow and ice. We still don't see any concrete evidence of a system that we're confident enough in to track. I do think that time frame late in the weekend and into early next week bears watching, but at this point that's all we can really kind of say about it. All right, appreciate you watching and hanging out. Uh, by the way, of course, you'll see uh, me tonight, WSFA 12 News at 4, 5, 6, 9, and 10. Got rain coming in. If you want to win an umbrella, go to WSFA.com slash contest. Uh, you can win a free golf umbrella. It's a good, high-quality umbrella, so check that out. Have a wonderful day. Take care, and I will see you later.